Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Princeton Courthouse, located in Mercer County, West Virginia, on May 15th to 17th, 1862. As a disclaimer, this battle was the least written about so far in my research. However, what is known is that Brigadier General Robert H. Milroy had advanced from McDowell towards the retreating Confederate Army. In response, Confederate Brigadier General Edward Johnson pulled back to Westview, six miles west of Staunton, to prepare for the attack. It was at this time that U.S. Brigadier General Jacob D. Cox of the Union forces from the District of Kanawha was preparing to attack the East Tennessee and Virginia Railroad. Confederate Brigadier General Humphrey Marshall's Army of the East Kentucky moved to defend that railroad. The purpose of this was to keep the railroad intact for the Confederacy. At this time, railroads were incredibly important to both sides, allowing armies to be quickly transported with supplies over great distance. As a rule, it also made them vulnerable to attack. Both armies stationed forces along their respective railroads to prevent the enemy forces from disrupting them. All that is known of the fighting is that Marshall attacked and defeated General Cox's Union soldiers in three days of fighting that stretched from May 15th through May 17th. Cox was forced to withdraw, but using this opportunity, one of Cox's brigades commanded by Colonel George Crook secured the city of Lewisburg before withdrawing on May 25th to avoid General Thomas J. Stonewall Jackson's army. The battle resulted in only 16 casualties for the Confederacy, including 4 killed and 12 wounded. Meanwhile, the Union suffered 113 casualties, including 23 killed, 69 wounded, and 21 missing. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.